Stop. Hey, Orange Crew, can we drown him out real quick on the count of three? One, two, three. Orange Crew! Some small children. <laughs> this show also contains exciting and dangerous stunts. For your safety and the safety of our performers, please refrain from the use of any flash photography, video lighting, or any other elements that may distract from the safe execution of these stunts. Lastly, please take a moment and locate the nearest available emergency exits which may be different from the way you entered the theater. Thank you, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Governor's Gala. Are you ready to celebrate? Woo! Well, I know you can do better than that. I said, are you ready to celebrate? Woo! Much better. As Royal Chamberlain, it is my duty and honor to announce the impending arrival of Her Royal Highness, the Princess Anita. However, before the princess arrives, there is one important rule of protocol we must review so that you do not embarrass yourselves. When in the presence of royalty, it is customary to bow at the waist. I will now teach you how to do so. However, it is impossible to bow properly from a seated position. So stand up, what are you waiting for? Hello? Audience participation, you bought these tickets. Put down the forks, let's go. There's lights, I can see you, come on. Now, do as I do, step one, raise your right arm in the air. Everyone, if we all do it, no one looks stupid. I stand corrected, step two, shake it. Like you just don't care. It deserved more laughter. Step three, bow at the waist. Very good, put it all together, arms up, shake it, and bow. One more time, arms up, shake it, and bow. Bow, what the heck, once more, arms up, shake it, and bow, very good, now please stay standing. The princess will arrive shortly, I will not lose my job because you're feeling lazy. You sat down immediately, I can see you, remember? <laughs> yes, let's go, she's here. She's here, ladies and gentlemen, the princess, Anita! As we practice, arms up, shake it, and bow, arms up, shake it, and bow.
Nantuck our shores. His name was Captain Sebastian the Black. I still cannot believe that we are standing on his very captured vessel, the Emerald Sharp. And I can only imagine then the terror that his band of pirates caused to the people of Treasure Bay. Chamberlain, I trust that the security in the village is up to standard. Of course, Your Highness. Nothing on earth could ruin this glorious occasion. Glorious indeed, but there have been reports of an unfamiliar vessel sailing along our coastline recently. Oh, well, surely it can't be pirates. Well, regardless, pirates or merchants, we must always remain vigilant. Soldier, if you please. Captain Sebastian would risk everything for this. The Serpent's Eye, one of the rarest pieces of jewelry ever forged. It certainly is beautiful. Beautiful and dangerous. Legend says that this necklace has a terrible curse on it. <laughs> Come now, Your Highness, you must be joking. Well, I wish I were, but this necklace is tied to the terror of the seas, the dreaded Leviathan. <laughs> oh, the Leviathan? I thought that was just a myth. Myth or not, we must keep the necklace safe and keep it from falling into the wrong hands. Chamberlain, please be sure to alert the rest of my father's soldiers. As you wish, Your Highness. Thank you, gentlemen. Now we must try to remember that tonight is a celebration, so shall we get along with the festivities? Barbados. Well done, McGee. Jose, bring forth that man. 
mermaid. Mermaid? Treasure, I've never met a mermaid before. I'm so excited to meet her. I hear she has green glistening scales, a big floppy tail, and... <laughs> Treasure, that's not a mermaid. She has legs. <laughs> Mr. McGee, you imbecile. She is a magical mermaid. So when she's out of the water, she has no tail. Oh, I've been catfished. Never mind that. <laughs> Antonio, bring me what we came here for. Hi, Treasure. There it is, lads. The serpent's eye. No, you cannot take that. And why not? Get this, Treasure. The princess thinks that little necklace has a magical curse on it. This one does. <laughs> You know, lads, we can fetch quite the ransom for the king's daughter. Benjamin, Jose, get these two out of my sight before I lose my patience. For so keep them alive. What? For now. Ah, speaking of which, treasure, what are we going to do with all these people staring at us? Well, we can't have them running off to warn the king's guard where we are now, can we? Uh -huh. I suppose. We'll take them all prisoner. This is a Shanghai! I love Chinese food! And you're in charge. I'm in charge? You're fired. Not that in charge. I mean, welcome back, Treasure. <laughs> you heard the scary lady. I'm in charge now. That means you all have to do what I say. Woohoo! Uh, but first, of course, allow myself to introduce myself. by the crew of Captain Sebastian the Black, the meanest, nastiest pirate ever to sail the seven seas. Now somebody scream! <laughs> scream if you're from out of town! <laughs> out of state? <laughs> out of your mind? <laughs> yes, I know, there's lights, I can see your faces. Now, in different colored sections of our harbor. That is because you are now the official cheering section for those pirates. So, whenever you see your pirate, hear their name or hear their color, how will you cheer? But how will you cheer for the other pirates? <laughs> Let's put this to the test. Green crew, how will you cheer for Jose Gutar? Swordsman. Purple crew for the Saxon. Orange crew for Andre Baptiste. And blue crew for Benjamin Blue. Now I have been looking over our ship's roster and I see we have some VIPs aboard the ship. That stands for very important prisoners, of course. In the red crew, where are the Aqua Pro? Yeah! So you're really good at water. That's what I gather. Good. Aqua pros, great. I don't need to go over that. Give them a round of applause. Give them a round of applause. Let's see here. We also have in the purple crew, Monica. Where's Monica at? Wow, no Monica, huh? Yeah, you're big fans of Monica. I can tell. Well, Monica, if you're here or not, congratulations. If you're missing, so we'll hope so many times. Anyways, uh, That's enough, let's go. Anyways, where was I? Oh, right, the invasion. <laughs> what a glorious Shanghai that was, wasn't it? We captured the princess, the magical mermaid, all of you in the process, and we finally got our hands on the serpent's eye, one of the rarest pieces of jewelry ever forged. And it's a good thing, too, because our captain's been looking for... I didn't tell you about the captain, did I? Oh, man, he's gonna murder me. Uh, that's okay. 
Okay, I'll tell you about him now. But I would be afraid if I was you, because I must warn you. There are those who would say, if you dare to pass this way, never again would you see the light of day. For he's ten feet tall, with a scarlet eyeball, and he was in a fiery attack. Ha! And we shan't know which. Is it fact or is it fiction? No man sailed who's lived to tell the tale of the man being. all suppose. Was he born from the floor of the ocean? Or was he torn from the floor of a rose? Who knows? He's a blundering, thundering, ghastly and nasty and captain. I see you brought our special guests as well. You have a lot of nerve to be calling us guests. I demand that you release us at once. Oh, you are in no position to be making demands. Your Highness. One should never underestimate the daughter of a king. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. I'm the princess. I'm going to hurt you with my beautiful dress and my perfect complexion. Careful, treasure. She might hurt us. <laughs> oh, treasure, she hurt me. Or maybe it's be the ghost of Davy Chuck <laughs> coming to claim another soul for his locker 50 fathoms down. Mr. McGee, that be me. You better batten down the hatches Aye. and get the men back on deck. We be in for a squall tonight. I knew you two would be nothing but trouble the minute I laid eyes on you. Now get Please. over there and be quiet. Oh, treasure, do you hear that? I... Do you hear the wind blow? You know, it's written, when the wind blows cold and a chilling mist rolls over the waves, if you listen real quiet, you might hear the voice of the ghost of Davy Jones! <laughs> Davy Jones, the dreaded pirate spirit of the sea. Shh, listen. Do you hear that? Today we can wonder to sail the high seas. Tis the life of a scoundrel, the pirate's creed. There be wine and women, a sword and a knife. To live for adventure, tis a pirate's life. <laughs>
You shall bow to me one day. No.
thing with these wenches? Uh, wenches, wenches, hey treasure. Treasure, where are you? Yeah, I'm over here. Ah, there you are. So, say, what do you want me to do with the uh, wenches, huh? I don't care, love. Just keep them out of the way until the captain returns. Keep them out of the way until the captain returns. <gasps> out of the way until the captain returns. <laughs> Mermaid, you're quite the catch. <laughs> oh. Hey, number two. No. Uh, hey, no, I mean, the. No. No, 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 no. Come on, boy. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry. knocking my stuff over. Oh.
pleasure, my lovely wife. Well done securing all these prisoners. Why, thank you, my love. You will be happy to know that we were successful in disrupting the little gala and taking back our ship, and we even managed to get you a little present to commemorate our success. A present? Treasure, you know I love presents, especially the kind that glimmer and shine. Oh! years of being lost at sea, the serpent's eye is finally in the hands of the Pirate King! Aye! Oh, and we even managed to capture the princess and a magical mermaid as well. Oh, well done, treasure. I can't wait to see that mermaid with her tail. Thank you, love. <laughs> Captain! Yes? Uh, we secured the prisoners, Captain, and had the cook prepare them their final meal. Well done, McGee. I trust your role in the invasion went flawlessly. Aye! And you locked up the King's Guard. Aye! You disabled the royal gunship so that we won't be followed. I might have forgot something. You what? 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 I'm sorry, Captain Jack got into an argument with me about how Phantom Menace is better than Where my are your excuses, <laughs> McGee? Because of your incompetence, the King's Navy will be on us in no time. I'm sorry, Captain. I swear it'll never happen again. I know it won't, McGee. Do you know why? Why? Because as of this moment, you're no longer my first mate, lad. Throw him overboard! Oh, yeah. I was saying he deserves another chance. Drop him. What? Oh. Thank your lucky stars you weren't demoted from first mate to shark mate. Shark bait! Ooh ha ha! Quiet! <laughs> Remove yourself from my presence. Hi, Captain. Look at it, lads. The serpent's eye, and it's all mine. Oh, oh, and that goes with the trust of my father! Aye, that it was, your highness. And now it's in the hands of Captain Sebastian. And on this ship, I'm king. Observe! Jack, throw her overboard! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, perhaps to ship's business first. I mean, after all, you are in need of a new first mate. Which would that ship's mean? business, eh, Benjamin? I? Uh, very well, Mr. McGee. That'd be me. Make yourself useful. Lock these two in the brig. I Treasure? Got yes, my love. How shall we decide on our new first mate? Well, how else, lovey? But with the car! My challenges will be the winner and my new first mate. Lovey, what if your new first mate is just as bad as that codfish McGee? Oh, well, well then, he'll have to be a good strong swimmer than won't he, lads? All right, back to work, all of you. Alright, now you heard the captain, lads. The competitions will take place in four parts. Yes! First, the competition of the stevedores. Stevedores! Second, the competition of the shots. Shots! Third, the competition of the Kenny Masters! Kenny Masters! And fourth, the test of the ropes. Ropes! Now, for your first competition, your pirates will swing out to your crews and deliver you a bag of gold. You will pass this bag of gold among the first few rows as quickly as you can. The first pirate to swing back onto our ship and ring that bell will be the winner of the first competition. Take it away, lovey. Well done. Treasure. All right, Stephen Oars, get those hands ready. This is a game of hot potato. Pass those bags of gold as fast as you can. Now let's see how you cheer for your pirates. Green crew, how will you cheer for Jose? Red crew for Cutthroat Jack. Yellow crew.
but you weren't gonna do that. <laughs> All right, in this competition, the pirates will swing out to their battle sprints and grab a pistol. They'll take aim for the rum bottle up there and attempt to shoot the cork off the top. The pirate that shoots the cork off that rum bottle will not only be the winner, but he'll get to drink what's left in the bottle. Be sure to cheer on your pirates. Are you ready? On your pirates, set, go!
appropriate price. Now in this competition, the treasure hunters will attempt to find all three. Celebrating Cutthroat Jack's victory as your new first mate, Rekker, give it up for him! Yeah! Maybe you're like Benjamin, I should This calls for a celebration! Celebration! You know, Sebastian, the lads have never had a mermaid aboard the ship before. Yeah. Perhaps we can all see how she's getting used to those sea legs. Sea legs. As for you, your highness, you can spend some more time in the brig. Benjamin, get her out of my sight. Well, you heard the captain. Now dance. Wait!
shining on me. Close, 
you won't shot my face. Um. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Hey, Captain, I think. <laughs> Captain, why don't we just swear all these landlubbers in? Hi, yeah, yeah. Captain. What if we just we just swear them all in? Ah, now you're talking on our end. Yes. Now bring me two. Bring me two representatives from each section. This is the ones pre-selected by the pirates. Bring them on board the ship, and we'll swear in the whole scurvy lot. Treasure. Yes, my love. Bring out the book. The What's going on with the kids? What are they doing? Well, Captain, it's clear that these children are what the landlubbers call cray-cray. <laughs> All right, well, keep an eye on them. Aye, Captain. All right, anything your heart should need, and live and die by the pirates of McGee! McGee, what's going on with it? McGee? What happened to McGee? Where'd he go? Captain, I'm over here. What are you doing over there? I farted on that side. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, we all do it, okay? Would you shut up and pay attention to these I... kids? Uh, this promise now is made by you. To your captain, you'll be... McGee! What is going on with these kids? Captain, I figured it out. Well, explain it to me. These kids... These kids... Right here... Right here... Are drunk... Are drunk... <laughs> McGee, they're children. Captain, this is Southern California. There's lots of stuff legal here. Uh, <laughs> yes, I didn't think of that. All right. But just keep an eye on these uh, cray cray drunk kids. Aye, right, Captain. All right. Uh, to fly the flag of skull and bone or walk a game. Oh, I see what's going on here. These kids seem to be taking orders from someone in this direction. Uh, then it must be the Green Crew. How dare you? Uh, to fly the flag. 
flag of skull and bone, or walk the black. Bucky, it's the green crew again! Green crew! Yeah! I can't believe you do this again to these sweet kids doing silly things behind the captain's back without him knowing about it. How dare you, green crew? How dare uh oh, sorry. To fly the flag of skull and bone. Mr. McGee, you are this close to an idiot. <laughs> now I'm this close to an idiot. Why? That does it. We're going to move on to the most important part. All rise for the great and secret pirate oath. Swear to be a good pirate. Swear to be a good pirate. To pillage and plunder. To pillage and plunder. To sail the seas of adventure. To sail the seas of adventure. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me Very well, lads, escort the children off the ship. What? what? You heard me. Get the children off the ship. Now, we don't want to upset words. the princess, now would we? Oh, yes. Say hello to the princess. Now say goodbye to the princess. Now, you listen here. Princess. Yes, I know you're used to bossing people around and giving orders where you come from. That's right, you're a princess. Yes, let's get one thing straight. There's only one princess on this ship, and that's me. And... Wait, wait, that's not, that's not what I... What's your name? Sage. Ah, it's a good, strong pirate name. Let's hear it for Sage, everyone. Ah, yes. Sage, how old are you? You're six years old. You know something, Sage? When I was your age, I was six years old, too. <laughs> I know, what a coincidence. Anyway, uh, Sage, where are you sitting tonight? What color? Where'd you come from? Yellow Cruiser. The Yellow Crew. See, Antonio's acting as your lawyer. That's great. All right. Now, listen here, Sage. Here's what I want you to do. On your way back to the yellow crew, I would like you to sneak your way through the red crew and steal all of their gold and all of their jewels, all of their money, all their wallets and their purses, anything valuable. Bring it back here to me, and then I'll split it with you. How's that sound? He says he'll do a yellow crew. Look at that. <laughs> Now, you've got a big assignment today, so before you go, I would like to present you with my lucky coin. You see, I got this the day I became captain, and today, I think that you should have it. Let's hear it for Sage, everyone! You know something, Yellow Crew? Maybe one of these days, he'll be Captain Sage. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yes, he'll be a captain one day, all right. You thought you could kill me, Captain Sebastian, the Pirate King? You call yourself a king? A king is a leader of men. A king 
Richards, you are nothing but some common yard dog capable of stealing nothing but the scraps of some German island! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And it's she dies! Uh, Pirates Law of the Sea! Hi. Pirates Law of the Sea! Pirates Law of the Sea! McGee! Happy me! How's that go again? Pirates Law of the Sea! I don't know, Captain, I can't make heads or tails Honestly, of this thing! I can't make heads or tails of you! Oh, that makes more sense! Okay, it says here that any pirate, any pirate like your son Benjamin, like Benjamin yeah. can save the life of a prisoner, a prisoner like a, the princess, right? The princess. By asking for her hand in marriage. Claim her hand. As do I! What? And I! And I! And I! And I! I just died in your arms tonight! You're gonna die in your arms! There is only one way to settle this in true pirate fashion. With a battle! Hand to hand! We don't have time. Yeah. Andre, get rid of him, will you? Thank you. Now, Jack, you, you want to find out? Yeah. Yeah.
Boy, Blue Crew! All right, Benjamin, take that knife and cut Andre. What? Scar Andre so he won't soon forget this day and do it in front of his orange crew. Come on, Andre, get up. Uh, what? Oh, well, my friend. Uh, you feel better. Nice. <laughs> Give me that knife, Benjamin. Andre, get out of my sight or I'll cut you up myself. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you big pathetic orange. Ah! <laughs> hey, hot stuff. Oh, God, get out of here. Oh! Benjamin, well done, boy. To the victor go the spoils. Treasure with me. Very well. Benjamin, listen to me. Despite what the captain thinks, the legend is true. When the monster arrives, no one will escape its terrible wrath. Nina, you don't have to worry anymore, all right? Look, I swore nothing would happen to you or Luna. I gave you my word. I intend to keep it. Benjamin, you are not like these other men. You have a good heart. You don't, you don't have to be a pirate. You can live a life full of nobility and caring for others. Understand though, this is the only life that I know. But you can change that. You can come with me and leave this life behind. No, I can't. My father would never let me go. Benjamin, please, if we stay your father, he will kill me. I wouldn't let that happen. But how do I know I can trust you? Ida, she's gonna have to trust me.
serve my captain as well as my crew. So you hear me now. Sebastian! Spare these women as Benjamin has spared my honor! Or else you'll deal with Andre, Baptiste, and his orange crew! Very well. Jack? Aye! Antonio? Aye! Saxon? Here, Saxon! <laughs> Where do you stand, lads? Do you fight with this boy? Or do you fight for your captain? Get him to his feet. <laughs> so, Andre, it'd be mutiny, eh? I, you'll pay for this. You, Jose Guitar, and that miserable boy. Put him in the brig. Like captain, 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 the winch is fixed, and we can set sail. Well done, McGee. Yeah. Treasure, ready to ship. Hoist the sails! Oh. She met her fate. Aye. Mr. McGee. That be me. Lower the boom. Aye, Captain. And prepare your finest hangman's knot. Better yet, make it a royal noose for our royal pain in the neck. <laughs> Treasure. Yes, my love. Would you care to do the honors? Lovey, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> well, 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 princess. Not so fearless now, are we? You know, as if being the king's daughter were not reason enough to kill you. So tell me, is the price of your life worth the upheaval that you have caused aboard this ship? And worst of all, seducing the boy that I raised, my son, my Benjamin. Well, princess, where is your gallant hero now, eh? <laughs> where here. No. He shot the rope! Treasure! Don't let her get away! Have the that princess! Jose! Free Andre! Benjamin! Ah, you came back, boy, but I got a little present for you! What's going on? Where's your boy? Oh, there he is. Oh, Thank <laughs> you.
children now!